Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to calibrate the accelerometer and the gyroscope on your gimbal. Both the accelerometer and gyroscope are calibrated before we ship them out. However, since they are temperature sensitive, depending on your location and the weather you're going to be using the gimbal at, it can affect the calibrations. What you would notice is that sometimes when you turn on the gimbal, it has a slight tilt. If you notice this on your gimbal, this tutorial is going to teach you how to fix it. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is plug in our gimbal, turn it on. Go ahead and connect. And then we're going to go and navigate to the hardware tab. Scroll down to scroll down to calibrate IMU sensors. Go ahead and click on that. All right, when the screen pops up, go ahead and click reset on both the gyroscope and the accelerometer side. All right, next we're going to go ahead and calibrate the gyroscope. To do this, make sure that you're on a flat, leveled surface and make sure nothing is touching or hitting the table that you're on. And let me explain why. There's a bar over here where you see green, yellow, and red, and then there's a white line that kind of fluctuates up and down. This white line fluctuates depending on how stable the surface is. And if I go ahead and tap the table, you can see that it rises up the red, which is not what we want. We want this white line to be below in this green area before we push calibrate. Right now it's ready. It's going to make this beeping noise when it's calibrating. Once the beeping noise is done and it goes from 0 to 100%, your gyroscope has now been calibrated. Next, we're going to calibrate the accelerometer. All right, the first position we're going to do is the plus X. And that is going to be this position where this motor is completely flat on the surface. The blue rectangle highlights the current position it's in. All right, once everything is steady, go push calibrate. And you hear this beeping noise once again. And when it stops, you'll see a check mark after everything is good. All right, next we're going to do negative X. So you can see now it is on negative X. Once the blue box is around it, you can go in and push calibrate. Okay, and you see the check mark, I mean this one is done. We're going to go in and move on to plus Y. Plus Y is when the camera lens is facing down towards the table. So for a straight gimbal, you can just rotate it straight down. But with this angled one, you're going to have a stopper right here. So you're going to go the other direction to get to plus Y. All right, you can see it's highlighted. Go ahead and click Calibrate. Next, we're going to do minus Y, which is camera facing up. All right, calibrate. Next, we'll do plus X, which is camera facing forward. Calibrate. And last, we're going to go ahead and do minus Z, which is camera facing towards yourself or the back motors. All right, now that you're done calibrating your gimbal, you can actually save these settings so you don't have to go through this six-point calibration or gyroscope calibration again. You can just restore the file. Let me show you. Just go down here, click Backup, and then you can name it basically whatever you want it to be. I'm call it six-point cal calibration here. Click Save, oh, and the file is saved. And should I ever find that my gimbal is tilting to one side or something, you can always just restore that file. Next, we actually have to turn the motors back on before the gimbal starts working properly again. Go ahead and turn the motors on. And you can see here it is on. We're going to go ahead and disconnect, unplug, turn off your gimbal. All right, once you've turned it back on, you should notice that your gimbal is no longer tilting. All right, that concludes this video. If you want to learn more about the software, you can continue watching our other videos that we have.